This act reinforces our centuries-long system, working well in our states, where the states pass water law and administer state water law. State law is crucial in the West. Take how a ski area permit is supposed to work. The Forest Service issues a permit for the use of the land, the land, but the water is administered in accordance with state water law. The water does not belong to the federal government. The headline here should be, keep your mitts off our water. If the federal government wants water rights, it has to pay for them or get in line, just like other citizens and businesses. But now, instead of waiting its turn or paying fair value, the Forest Service is demanding water rights as a condition of ski area permits. The Forest Service is demanding the full value of water rights it had no role in developing. The Forest Service isn't just going after ski areas, it's targeting ranchers with grazing permits as well. The federal government claims it needs the water rights because the federal government knows best how to manage water for ski recreation and grazing. The reality is the federal government doesn't know best at all. And that's why states are in control of water law. Sound water management and conservation is necessary in the arid and semi-arid West. And the real work is done at the state and local level by individuals. These efforts will only be harmed if we let federal agencies trample on state water law, substituting their judgment for those who live near water and depend on it for their well-being. Madam Speaker, I have spent thousands of hours of my life irrigating Wyoming's beautiful meadows. The woman's recognized for one additional minute. Madam Speaker, when you are still and you're out in a meadow, you can hear the water, water bubble into the ground. And I swear, you can hear the grass grow. It is the most amazing, fulfilling thing and some of the happiest hours I have spent in my entire life. This is personal with me. Madam Speaker, I urge my colleagues to support the Tipton Bill. I yield back gratefully to the gentleman from Washington.